Hey everyone, this is Edouan and today we are back in the studio for a new video. Sorry for this long break. No, I didn't switch to Logic Pro. Nice. I didn't get COVID. Nice. I didn't get kidnapped by Ableton users. Just switch to FL Studio. I'm fine. I actually had to finish something that's mandatory in Switzerland like the army but it's called civilian service and i am finally done with this so i have a lot more time for videos which is noise the show goes on so today i'm going to show you how to make a track like hallman thank you for your suggestion Gregory. If you guys have any other wishes, suggestions for next videos, leave a comment down below. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you want more, you can download the Fruity Loops project at the link in the description below. And of course, subscribe if you're not part of the producer family and so that you don't miss my next videos. So let's make music like whole man, do you sir? First of all, you need to do something very important. Let me know in the comments down below if you guess it before. Yes, that's right. A little prayer to FL Studio God. FL Studio God, please don't crash this time. I'm back at making more videos than ever. Please bless my project and bless all the producers out there. Thank you, FL Studio God. First of all, make sure your BPM is between 120 and 126. Next up, we want something like noise. Next is piano. Piano 2K7 preset is actually fine for this. Let's make a noise chord progression. I'm going to use the fruity parametric EQ2, not the one, <laughs> please. I pass here and remove everything below 250. It's not an exact science. You have to check and see what sounds best to your ears. I like to do it like that. Get rid of the very high end from the piano. We want to keep the high end available for the lead sound and the vocal chops. So make some room in the mid range around 1000K on the piano. I'm going to layer this piano with a softer one, uh, the grand piano. Get rid of the stock effects on each of these pianos, so disable them, renaming this into piano. You can press several times on F2 and it's going to change the color of your channel. Let's route everything to a river bus and um, let's use a stock uh, FL Studio reverb, fruity reverb. I'm using uh, the venue and let's uh, cut everything that's below this frequency. Decay around 1.5 seconds, it's fine. Hallman is using a very wide piano, so we use the, the fruity stereo shaper with the sterilizer preset. Noise. Next up, I'm going to add a nice lead sound. I'm going to use a Nexus flute because this is <laughs> my signature instrument, <laughs> kind of. The pan flute, removing all the stock effects from it. Something very important on the lead sound is you want to enable the mod and the trigger mod. So this way, when you play two notes, one after the other and the notes overlap, it's going to do a very nice transition, portamento, glissando. Now let's create a noise melody. A 
few moments later. Nice. Now let's also root this one to the reverb. Let's stack the layers. Something that sounds a bit more like a plug. Sakura. Something like that. Not a good idea. Disable the reverb and I want to enable this portamento effect here. I need to enable the porta and the mono mode. Now I want to make these leads a little bit more present, so I will use a high pass filter to get rid of the low end. Next up I'm using OTT which is free to push I would like to add some delay on the piano, so I'm also going to use a stock plugin here, the Fruity Delay. The most important setting here is the timing. I'm going to add the bass. We want a simple bass. You can actually use GMS and a very simple preset with not a lot of high end, like mostly low end. Make the nose longer. Cut all the high end from the bass. Low. Nice. Compress the bass. Make sure it's mono. For this, you can use a stereo separation knob in FL Studio 20 and set it to 100% merged. This way, it's 100% mono, which is nice for the bass or the sub or anything you want. Next step the kick drum and some nice drums. We want something like Avicii style kick drums. Let's add some nice sidechain here. For a sidechain, I always like to use a very, very short sound if I use the 3D limiter. That's going to be my ghost kick, ghost kick. And now I can simply right click on every single channel here that I want to sidechain and from this ghost kick sidechain all these tracks. And now I disable the output from the ghost kick. First of all, I want to sidechain the bass. The right click here, set the ghost kick as the input, threshold down, ratio up. And let's play around with the release. For 120, we need something like a multiple of 500. So we have 125 here, for example. Actually, I'm going to set it longer, so 250. The reason why I want a short sample is the only delay we have here, the only release time we have here is the release knob here and not the sample itself. Now let's do the same for the piano. Compressor mode. I forgot to add some compression on the piano, so I'm going to add 3D limiter, compressor mode, ratio around 4. Now let's add another limiter on the lead. Another one. Another one. Another red one. I'm going to add a real sub here. For this, I like to use a nice citrus preset called Deep 2, one octave lower. Sub. I'm going to cut the bass a bit higher at around 100, like that, to leave some room for the sub. Now for the sub, I'm going to cut everything above 100 so that it doesn't overlap with the bass.
sidechain to this track on to the sidechain here very high ratio I almost forgot to uh, set the limiter on this sub that way it's compressed next up we need to add some drums that's the next step add more drums <laughs> some short claps another one compress them using the fruity limiter and of course remove the low end from these claps very important clean up all your sounds so here we go and create a nice little groove here And something very important, we almost forgot, the vocal chops. Vocal chops need to be very stereo with a lot of reverb, a lot of sidechain and a lot of high ends. I can feel I'm using the fruity slicer here, drag and drop, drag and drop the A few moments later So that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video The Fruity Loops project is available at the link in the description below If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up Subscribe if you haven't yet Let me know your subject ideas in the comments down below which artist you want me to cover which uh, mixing technique you want me to explain a bit better if you have any challenge ideas i can also do them so see you guys in the next video or in the next live stream on thursday for the producer show and of course Check out the merch on my website producerbyedwan.com Also giving coaching sessions and my FLP mega pack with 38 FL studio projects See you in the next video and of course, and of course, don't forget to pray To a fellow studio God Bye producers